to make this pretty ring, we've got a ring blank. And this may not look like a ring, but that's because it's a wrapping filigree that's meant to be wrapped around something to turn it into a ring. It's very soft. And the first thing you want to do to wrap it is figure out what you want to wrap it around. And what we did is we took a ring that was the size we wanted our finished ring to be, and we went around and tested it on things around the house. And what you want is something a little bit smaller than the ring you want it to be, because once you press it together, it's going to open up a little bit and get a little bit bigger. So we found this marker that was just the right size for us so that we'll get about a size six ring out of this. And what you want to do is you want to bend the wrapping filigree or ring blank around. I'm pressing it against the marker. And ours is going to overlap a little bit on the back, which is fine. It'll be the underside of the ring. And I just want to kind of squeeze it tightly around this marker to make it into our ring shape. So you can see it opens up a little bit. That's why I said this needs to be a little bit smaller because it wants to open up a little bit. So now we've got our ring blank is shaped into the shape of a ring. It's kind of nice, just like that. But we're going to embellish it a little bit. And to do that, we bought a bag of little filigree rosettes. These are so fun. They're all these little flower shapes. Sometimes they're called layering filigrees. And I think what we'll do is we'll pick a couple of these. I think this big one is nice. And this one maybe. Because what we want to do is glue those onto the ring blank and finish with this fantastic crystal rosette. This also is from a jewelry supply company. And you can buy these. You can buy like six at a time in a little baggie. You might find them on Etsy too. The back of this looks like these filigrees, but the top has these gorgeous little crystals in the shape of a flower. The important thing is that the back is flat. We want to glue all these things together so all of them need to be flat, but that looks like a nice little design there. And we're just going to glue those now onto our ring. So I'm going to start with the bottom one. And the glue we want to use for this is E6000. This is a nice general crafting glue. It has some body. You could use jeweler's glue to glue things like this together, but there are so many of these, we want it to have a little bit more body to the glue. We don't want it to be too runny. So I'm just going to squeeze a little bit of the E6000 on there. And you can see it's kind of jelly-like, and that's going to give it the body I was talking about. And I'm going to put the first piece down is this larger rosette, and I'm just going to center it on the ring. I want to make sure I'm getting some good contact there. The contact is going to make it all stick together. If this doesn't have good contact with the bottom ring blank, then it'll just fall off. I'm going to press that down on there. And then I'm going to add a little bit more glue. And I can be a little more generous with this layer of glue because it'll run down now through the openings of this filigree onto our ring blank. And I'm going to use the second one, this pretty silver one, and center that on our previous rosette. That looks nice. And now for our final crystal one, I'm going to add a little bit more glue. And like I said, the most important part is that you have good contact between all these pieces. If you're making this and you find that it's not connecting, not gluing together properly, you can take a hammer and hammer these rosette filigrees a little flatter, and that might give them better contact with each other. So there's our last glue, and here's our last beautiful crystal piece we're going to put right in the center. And those are glued together. It'll take a little while for this glue to set up. So you may want to prop this up uh, on something so it won't fall apart while it's trying to glue. But there you can see we have a beautiful little rosette ring. Mm -hmm.